So I've been thinking. Recently, I've been looking through some of the Spectrum posts, looking through YouTube, taking a look at Discord, and just kind of taking a sentiment as to the community in general and Star Citizen and what's going on on Reddit and what's going on on Spectrum. And there's one thing that I constantly, every day, watch people do. And it kind of had me thinking. I think we have a problem with excuses. Now hear me out. I am speaking specifically when it comes to the excuses of why you are not improving. And I, I've seen them all. Yeah, I've seen... I'm not playing because of desync. I'm not playing because I don't have the equipment. I'm not playing because the game's not ready yet. I'm not playing because there's no content in the game that I deem worthy of my attention. I'm not playing because there are too many trolls. I'm not playing because of insert reason here. The thing I think some of these people are missing, and this might even be you, they might all be valid reasons. But the truth is, it's an excuse. I can't tell you how many times I've played this game and just been in total, not awe, but just been having so much bloody fun with it. And there's been days where I've been flying and I think like, wow, you know, what am I doing? And then you have days that aren't like that at all. You have days where it's just a ton of fun. And I always see these rookie pilots kind of coming up the ladder, jumping into stream or asking questions. And I can't help but notice the excuses. The thing is, guys, we all have excuses. Everybody's got them. And most of them, a lot of the times, are actually valid excuses. But what I'm going to ask you to do today, just as an experiment, for one week, I challenge you to fly Star Citizen and stop making excuses. If you get shot down, good. Get back up, find out why you went wrong, and do it again. Lost a match, good. Winning shouldn't matter. Gives you more of an opportunity to work on what you need to. Don't have the right sticks, good. Time for you to exercise skill in other areas, and also give yourself time in the cockpit to kind of visualize the steps of how to actually fly properly. All these things put together are the 1% that I talk about every day. Get up, fly, repeat every day. Next time you catch yourself make an excuse, don't Berate yourself. Don't tell yourself, ah, you know, I'm insert, you know, derogatory comment about myself here. It doesn't matter. Nobody's perfect. But what you can do is you can get up. You can sit your ass down by your sweaty little computer like I do. You can t put your headset on, enjoy your time with your friends, and you can put a little bit of seat time in every day. You see, the thing that stops most people that I've realized is that if you keep making excuses, the excuses keep coming to your doorstep. But at some point, you will have to say no more excuses. At some point, you're going to have to decide whether you are a victim of the game and your circumstances 
or you are somebody who is working out of them. This is a choice everybody will make, but I can guarantee you one thing. That if you continuously give yourself excuses, if you continuously give yourself a way out, do not expect results. If you want to be a better pilot, there is no replacement for hard work. But it doesn't mean that the hard work has to be miserable. It doesn't mean that the hard work, putting the hours in, enjoying it, spending time with your friends or your squadron has to be something that you look forward to or sorry, dread. It shouldn't be something you dread. It should be something you look forward to. That's why we play games, guys. But when I go and I check the forums, when I look on Reddit, I see excuses. I see people who would rather spend their time finding a million reasons why they're not winning. And one in every 100 of those people decides, you know what? Not me. Not today. If you find yourself one in those 100, we want you here at the stream. Because if there's one thing I'm always going to be consistent on, if there's one thing you'll hear me say every day, is that if you put 1% in, when you look back in a year from now, you are going to be so far ahead of everybody else who stayed put, static, not moving, alone, and full of excuses. Don't be one of those people. Be better. And the game that you'll experience will completely change the way you look at Star Citizen. And that, my friends, is what I am trying to do.